the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment, that's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd, not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Stay tuned, all the action coming up next. A big night at one of the most famous venues in world football. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Inter versus Arsenal. Well, that last performance had everything. Quality, determination, skill, and a real tactical understanding. If they can reproduce that today, they'll certainly win this game. And this is how it looks for Inter. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Marcus Turam. Shaping to shoot. And the keeper diving to thwart him. And there's the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. How can he take them on and beat them? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central oh, midfield. Here, Derek. Nicely saved. And over it comes, but it wasn't a great header, in all fairness, and a goal kick it is. <laughs> Terrific talent, Nicolo Barella, and certainly a player who we would expect to influence the game. What might we see from him in this match? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-tubes around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. And he's broken free. Can he convert? Terrific piece of anticipation. Damian. It's with a Cherby. And that's an important intervention. Gabriel Jesus. And he's made headway. Oh, superb save. Massive credit to the keeper. Well, he's so hard to beat in these situations. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Advantage. Arsenal. Has eyes for goal. A smart stop here. And another corner, can they take advantage of this one? Going short. Martinelli. Determined defending. Barella. Goalkeeper has it. Alessandro Bastoni. Davide Fratesi. Inter in a position of menace, but nothing comes of it. Kai Havertz. Difficult to stop him. Barella. Still alive. So deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Kai Havertz. Gabriel Martinelli. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Havertz! And tipping it over the crossbar. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. Teammate and support. Just couldn't get it through. 
Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. And played short. And cut again from the flank. Well, as we can see, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'd be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Matteo Damian. Dumfries. And a fine tackle. Di Marco. Davide Fratesi. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Bukayo Saka. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they use it to their advantage? Blocks it brilliantly. And problem solved for now. Gabriel Jesus. Havertz. Oh, great attacking play. Must be. And there is the goal that gives them a well-merited lead. It had been coming. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Damian. Alessandro Bastoni. Fratesi. Now, what can Inter do from this position? Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Opportunity to level it. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. So one minute of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. And Kai Havertz. And they might forge ahead. And the first half is in the history books here at the Meazza. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. Havertz! Well, that was the chance to extend the lead. Well, that's a waste, really. He's got to hit the target there. Barella. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Dumfries. And well positioned to clear. Habits. Just the challenge that was required. Turam. Dumfries. Crossing into the middle. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that.
Martin Odegaard. Saka. Well, they're a bit like a passing machine, and you can understand why they want to play it that way in front as they are. Out of play it goes, and it will be a throw-in. Chalanolu. Barella. Opportunity to deliver the cross. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 30 minutes to go then. And credit due, a good intervention. Saka. Bukayo Saka. Possession ceded by the Gunners. Now a decent position. Opportunity here. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Error from the keeper. Will they seize on it? Gabriel Jesus. And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Alessandro Bastoni. Arsenal have given it away. Damian. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Alessandro Bastoni. Damian. Barella. And it's with Dumfries. And thumped away. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. Here it is now, a substitution. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. Interception to snuff out the danger. It does appear to be opening up on the flank for Arsenal here. No stopping him. It's got to be. And now it is there for him. And space to cross it. Barella. And it will be goalkeeper's ball. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Promising move. Takes the shot. Really in the mood today. That was almost another one. Well, he looks so sharp, doesn't he? Just not the finish he was hoping for there. The inside route looks promising. And the degree of difficulty wasn't all that high in terms of the save. Matteo Damian. Now Quadrado. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Managed to get it out of there. Jesus. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Oh, good run, this. Now, what can he do with it?
keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Oh, that's wretched from the keeper. A lovely attempt. And there we have it, full time in this game. And three huge points picked up as they put a bit of distance between themselves and their rivals at the summit. Well, they must be favourites for the title now. That was a good performance and a very important win. They just need to take that into the next game now. Well, it certainly was a terrific performance from Gabriel Jesus. Stuart, keen to find out what caught your eye most of all. Well, I'm not concerned about him missing a few chances. The main thing is he kept on getting into the right areas and he scored a very good goal as well.